Congressman Trent Franks is a stalwart member of the House Armed Services Committee. He has been highly active in the effort to protect our nation from weapons of mass destruction, including EMP. Congressman Franks is a member of the Human Rights Campaign and of the Anti-Terrorism Caucus. We welcome Congressman Franks joining us in our effort to protect our nation from EMP. When we try to devise a way to defend ourselves from the enemy's weapons, we must first look at the will of the enemy and then the enemy's capacity to carry out their malevolent goal. It's been made perfectly clear that the Iranian government wants at the very least to take out the United States as a leading world power and at worst it wants to bring an end to Western civilization as we know it. President Ahmadinejad said, quote, and you, for your part, if you would like to have good relations with the Iranian nation in the future, recognize the Iranian nation's right, recognize the Iranian, the Iranian nation's greatness, and bow down before the greatness of the Iranian nation and surrender. If you don't accept to do this, the Iranian nation will later force you to surrender and bow down, unquote. Well, that's happy words. How do we negotiate with a nuclear Iran when their jihadist ideology considers Armageddon a good thing? Sanctions are failing and the regime moves forward with its nuclear program as well as its ballistic missile program. General Michael Maples, director of the Defense Intelligence Agency, stated before the Senate Armed Services Committee in March of 2009 that, quote, Iran's February 3, 2009 launch of the Safir space launch vehicle shows progress in mastering technology needed to produce ICBMs. Now, Iran has already conducted tests from sea-based platforms, detonating warheads at the apogee of the missile trajectory, and it's exploring a workable research program to deliver an EMP attack against the United States. And just yesterday, it was reported that American intelligence agencies have concluded in recent months that Iran has created enough nuclear fuel to make a rapid dash for a nuclear weapon. And according to the EMP Commission, a single nuclear weapon exploded above the Earth's atmosphere produces an electromagnetic pulse radiating down to the Earth in a massive electrical surge that is capable of crippling our country. And the mass chaos that would follow, uh, ultimately leading to the deaths of millions of Americans, is a horrific scenario that would change the landscape of the free world forever. So I want you to join with me and let's all resolve together once and for all for the sake of our children and future generations that we of this generation will not hesitate to do all we can to prevent this dark chapter in our world history from coming true and that we will do everything in our power to hasten the day when rogue nations like Iran and others and their proxies will no longer threaten the world with nuclear jihad and when even their own persecuted and repressed citizens will walk in the sunlight of human freedom. By the grace of God, let's give it all we can.